So can you talk to us a little bit about your movie, Death of a Vegas Showgirl? Uh, it's based on the story of, I don't know if you heard of Debbie Flores Narvaez. In 2010, um, she disappeared uh, for almost a month. And then when they found her body, she was completely dismembered. Um, dancer, Puerto Rican, grew up in Baltimore, uh, incredibly intelligent, three degrees, uh, but w with a dream to become a, uh, a showgirl, mm, exotica, y se muda a Las Vegas, following her dream, and then gets involved with this guy, um, Julia Graduate, incredible dancer from Cirque du Soleil, Love. So these are two highly talented people um, that just don't, are not compatible. And it becomes very abusive and dysfunctional and toxic. And unfortunately, she ends up dying. What was it like for you to bring Debbie's story to life? It, it was intense for me. You know why? Because I, I, it was like a big responsibility. You know, I was like, oh my God, I just, I just need signs that I'm doing the right thing. I don't want to have her family's blessing, you know, because I, I, I feel like I know her now. I feel like she's my friend. And, and it was brutal what both families went through. But imagine Debbie's family. Um, so it was a big sense of responsibility. I wanted to do it well. I wanted people to fall in love with her. I wanted people to know that she didn't deserve it, you know, and, and it, w it was intense. It was intense. So what did you do to prepare for this role? A lot of dancing. You know, because she's, uh, she was a great dancer. So and I had it. Hace años que no bailaba. Y fue como que fuerte regresar de nuevo. Oh, my God, I have to put my dance shoes again and, and do this all over again. Um, que más, ver mucho video, YouTube, and read like crazy about, about the case and about the story. And, and I met um, with her sister, and she explained to me a lot of stuff. And, it was, it was incredible, you know, and I, and I feel, God willing, you know, I feel that, that I have her blessing every single day. I would just meditate and pray and, say, and telling her, listen, if you want me to do this, uh, open the doors. If you're not comfortable, just close it, you know, I, and it's very easy in this business to have other people tell you, no, we're not interested, we're, we're, we're going to pass. So I kept telling her, if you want it, let's do it. If you don't want it, I'm out. <laughs> just give me a sign. The movie shows a lot of Debbie's relationship with her ex-boyfriend and how tumultuous it was, specifically with domestic violence. Why do you think it was important to raise awareness on that? It is, it is so important, and you have no idea. I think out of, I don't know if I'm making it up, you know, but I'm just going to give you un por ciento. Yo pienso que cada cinco mujeres hay una que pasa por violencia doméstica. No estamos hablando only the, the physical violence, you know, because emotional abuse, it's, it's abuse, you know. Uh, Mental, it, 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 it can be so abusive when you have somebody on a daily basis telling you how little you are, you know? <laughs> so I think, and, and it's something that, w that women that go through that is so embarrassing that you just don't speak about it, you know? And everybody in, the, uh, in La Distancia thinks that, that you're fine when you're not. Debbie was an example. Her close, close friends knew this is toxic, this is not good for you, but the rest of the dance, I mean, all the other outer circle, had no idea that it was that ugly, you know? So it, I always tell people, if I can touch one life of one girl out there that sees the movie and says, wow, I need to get out before it's too late, you know? Because when you get involved with somebody that, that, that is abusive, I think what we tend to do is, oh, I can change him. I can change him. You know, I just have to do my thing. And a lot of times you feel like the, you feel like the bad person. You know, they're yelling at you, like, you this, and they become the victim, and you're like, I did something wrong, you know, and it's, it's, it's just a vicious cycle. And, and with Debbie, oye me, tan linda, inteligente, de buena familia, talentosa, you know, que uno dice, how is it possible that a woman that has it all, that if you see her the way she behaves, she's bigger than life, you know what I mean? It's actually allowing somebody to treat you like that, and vice versa, because she was not easy, you know what I mean? So she was also, she was a spitfire, you know, so she had a, she was strong, she was strong. So imagine that, you have everything going for you, you're super strong, and still you don't see the signs that this is going to end very ugly.